When we explore outer space, we develop tools and techniques to get there, live there, and prosper there. Space exploration leads us to discover new ways of doing things and re-engineer existing technologies to meet the challenges and rigors of space. Computers, healthcare, communication. We had them before we launched into space, but the urgent and unique demands of space inspired us to build things better, stronger, more efficient, and safer. From airbags to sunglasses, pure water to pure science, space technology is integral to everyday life. Space is in the background of almost everything we do. And when you realize how some of these technologies, especially if you look at things like GPS, you don't realize that that controls the entire stock market. You don't realize that anymore your refrigerator and your Alexa won't run without it. It's, it's so important. The Space Technology Hall of Fame is an opportunity to highlight technologies that were started from the space industry. It's quite remarkable to see some of these unique niche technologies and then realize how big of an application uh, they have within the greater context of society now. Uh, and it all started with the space industry. Since 1988, Space Foundation has honored hundreds of individuals and organizations who helped develop the dozens of technologies that make up the Space Technology Hall of Fame. These scientists, mathematicians, engineers, and researchers in biology, geology, medicine, material science, communication, energy, public safety, transportation, and many other fields have dedicated their efforts to inventing and improving tools we use to explore space. It's really nice that their efforts have improved life here on Earth, too. It's just so good to know that there are so many people out there in this world working so hard every day to make all of our lives better. Everyone who's involved in this process deserves our thanks. Tonight, we honor two uniquely sustainable space technologies. One was invented by a presidential candidate and works underwater. The other is an ultra-thin barrier to extreme heat that helps conserve energy in the hottest of places. Meet inventor, entrepreneur, and policy wonk, Paul C. Fisher. He lost his bid to be U.S. President against John F. Kennedy in 1960's New Hampshire elections and lost his Chicago ballpoint pen business to a massive fire. But he found our latest Hall of Fame technology in his sleep, in a dream patented over 50 years ago that still flies on every manned mission into space. The Fisher Space Pen solved a problem that challenged NASA astronauts, how to write in zero-g, on Earth, ink flows through a pen thanks to gravity. Ballpoint pens don't work in space, and pencils and grease pens weren't much better. Paul Fisher's inspired innovation was in a sealed, pressurized ink cartridge. It's extremely thick and won't flow until pressure from the writing tip forces the ink out without leaking or smearing. Fisher invested over $1 million of his own money to develop his pen. After extensive testing by NASA, Fisher sold 400 of his precision pens to NASA for a discounted price of about $2.50 each. Apollo 7 astronaut Walter Cunningham was one of the first to use the Fisher Space Pen in orbit. He's still a fan. Each writing instrument is still produced at the family-owned firm in Henderson, Nevada. The manufacturing process might look old school, but the durable and exquisitely machined instruments right upside down, underwater, in extreme temperatures from minus 30 to 250 degrees Fahrenheit, and of course, in zero G. Scuba divers use them underwater. Food distributors use them in industrial freezers. Law enforcement writes with them in their cars in the cold winter months. And the Fisher Space Pen is guaranteed for life. How's that for sustainability? Spacecraft or 
launched into orbit with planes and fire that can reach 3,400 degrees Kelvin. And when they return to Earth, friction with the atmosphere can make the undersides of spacecraft scorching hot, too. In the 1990s, researchers at Ames Research Center devised a silicon-based protective coating for the X-33 and X-34 prototype planes. Flying at 15 times the speed of sound, the coating had to be lightweight, durable, and able to withstand temperatures of 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, twice the temperature protection demanded on the space shuttle. Ames researchers called it the Protective Coating for Ceramic Materials, or PCCM. It could be applied in a very thin layer, was extremely lightweight and highly stable. Most importantly, it was very effective, radiated heat away from the coated ceramic insulation and protected the plane from the extreme heat. NASA theorized there might be other commercial applications for PCCM and made the technology available for licensure. Enter Dr. John Olver. He sold his engineering consulting company and was looking for a new venture. While perusing the NASA website, he noticed a licensing opportunity at Ames Research Center for this high emissivity coating used on spacecraft. He called NASA to learn more, and the concept for EmaShield was born. With support from researchers at Virginia Tech University, the material was modified so it could be applied as a spray and stick to metal, greatly expanding its potential uses. Olver and company also extended the working life of the material that improved its use. The first application for EmaShield's new coating in 2001 was to protect building materials for firewall applications. Since then, the company has continued to expand the markets for the product. Everything from clothing and race car parts to heavy industrial applications in iron and steel plants, refractories, petrochemical facilities, ceramic fibers, and power generation. By applying EmaShield's unique products, end users can save up to 30% on their energy costs. Water-based, energy efficient, used to forge steel and crack molecules, EmaShield is another sustainable product derived from space technology. Tonight, we induct into the Space Technology Hall of Fame, the Fisher Space Pen. Protective coating for ceramic material. What the Hall of Fame does is it brings out these hidden gems of technology that arose from the space program and now have done so much in our lives. Space Foundation is proud to honor the organizations and individuals whose efforts and innovations turn those products and services originally developed for space into things that improve life here on our home planet. At Space Foundation, we advocate for innovation to better life on Earth.